Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about an interesting form of spam which I saw on someone's device today. It's a form of spam that targets iPad and iPhone users to the calendar app. So that's why I'm calling it calendar spam, I know, very original. Basically what happens is that if an iOS user has their iCloud connected to their calendar app and they get an invite, they will automatically get a notification on their iPhone with the invitation and that invitation can then contain things like malicious links. The danger of this, of course, as you understand, is that it, this notification will pop up on the phone or iPad and it might trigger the reflex of the user to panic and check the link or even click on it. And that's, of course, what the spammers want. In this video, we're going to take a look at this scam and how it works and what can be done about it. Let's switch to the computer screen or in this case the iOS screens so you can follow along for the ride. We will see that the user gets a notification which says invitation, which is the message that I sent. And if the user opens that notification or unlocks their phone, they get a little bit more of a detail. It says your invoice has expired, which is the message that I wrote for them. And they can see that it's a notification, but many users will already be alerted by the fact that there is a message telling them that an invoice has expired. Or it could be anything really that scares the user or triggers the user. And then we go to the invite itself. It comes from me, of course. And you can see that we added a URL. You will look at that a little bit later. And that URL, of course, is meant to make the user click and then do something like sending a whole lot of money to the spammer. And let's go to the next screen. This is more information. You can see under notes that there are more details that the spammer wrote, or in this case, me. This says that invoice number 23 has expired and that they can click to pay. Of course, the idea behind all of this is to trigger the user and to make them do something. And it's really easy to set up. Actually, it's kind of disturbing how easy it is to set up. And we'll see that in the next step. We're going to move forward to the next step. We're going to demonstrate how easy it is to send such an invite to the user. And keep in mind that we don't know this user, we only have their email address and all it takes is their address and we can se start sending a notification. We're going to skip forward in the video for a little bit. You can see that we are now creating the message for the user. We already added the link and now we're going to try and persuade them a little bit. We're telling them that an invoice with a specific number is about to expire and that they should click the link to pay the invoice. This could be really anything that alerts the user from your account is about to expire to someone needs money to anything you can think of basically. And it's really easy. It took me about 30 seconds and then I can send it. And what happens now is what we already saw in the earlier part of the video. What happens next is basically that the user gets a notification and that notification will already be alarming to them. And when they open the notification, they will see this message, which prompts them to click on the link. And more people than you think would fall for this. But on top of that, you also have this, I don't know what to call it. On the app, you have this number that indicates that you have a new message. That will also show that you have one invitation, which won't go away until you refuse the invitation and that's an extra trigger for the user to open it. These are all things that basically make it very easy to alert the user to give them a sense of urgency that they should check out this invitation and it also doesn't add it also doesn't end up in their mailbox. Now we tested this on a few platforms and it doesn't work in Outlook, it doesn't work on Gmail, it doesn't work on any mailbox. The only platform you can use to trigger this kind of notification and the alert for the user is by doing it from another iPhone, which then easily allows you to create this notification. Or another option is to use the Mac, iOS, which means iPad and iPhone, but it also works on a Mac because it also uses the 
calendar app, which means that users with that app are also vulnerable for these kind of scam attacks. That means that there are a lot of users out there, which may not always be the most tech savvy, that are at risk for getting these, they have this urge to click it. And now we get to the part where we talk about what we can do about it. And the, the bad part is that there is nothing you can do about it because there is no way to block these invites in on your Apple device. There is no way to block them. You cannot block senders. Anyone who has your iCloud account can send you these types of invites with or without your permission. And the only thing you can do is click and say, I don't want this invitation. But even then they may already get a notification that your address exists. So this is really a problem and something they should really look at to protect their user base. But I can already guess what the answer will be. They will probably tell us that this works as designed. And of course, that is a problem. So the only thing we can do is educate users, help them understand that if they receive these type of messages in their calendar app, that they should never respond to them if they don't know the sender. Because this is, this may not be a new kind of spam. I have already seen it before, but users might fall for this because it's more alarming than just a regular email. You know, you get a spam mail and it ends up in spam. This doesn't end up in spam. This ends up straight in your face on the phone. You get a notification. You get the app that tells you, hey, you have something that you have to acknowledge. The, basically, the calendar app helps the attackers to make the users want to click the link, which is really a problem. And the only thing we can do is make people aware of this. So please, if you have iPhone users in your family that may be vulnerable, please explain to them that their calendar app can be used to send them scam mails. And they may think that you're joking, but if you need a, a way to convince them, maybe borrow an iPhone and send them one of those mails or have contact me and have me send one if that's something you want or show them this video. But make sure to make people aware of this problem because the chance that Apple is going to do something about this soon is really, really slim. That was it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and we'll see each other in the next video. Goodbye.